Hi everyone, welcome to Ansible Tower Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the 10th video in Ansible Tower Learning Series. In this video, we will see how to use Netbox as an inventory source for Ansible Playbooks, how to filter the inventory output which we are receiving from Netbox. In the previous video, we have seen an overview of Netbox, and here I have Ansible Tower and here we have one template and this template currently using the local inventory which is Cisco Routers new. If we launch this template so this is getting R62 from the inventory but this inventory is coming from the local netbox inventory list you can see r62 i have configured as 0 0.62 instead of this local inventory we will try using netbox as an inventory source for running the playbook so for that first we will have a playbook so in the previous video we have written a playbook which uses the url method to get the inventory and when we run that we are getting the output of netbox device type and netbox devices similar way we can use netbox module itself for getting the inventory so I already have a playbook available here. So let us open that 0 to underscore inventory. So this uses netbox module and here we can see the API endpoint. It is 0 0.82. That is the netbox IP 0 0.82 and the API token which I showed earlier the admin profile and settings api token i'm using this token and here i'm giving validate certs false because i don't have a valid certificate available for netbox if it is in production i recommend to use a valid certificate for all the https sites and here i'm filtering the inventory using two filters like device role and manufacturers you see here under devices we have multiple device roles so under production router we have r2 and under stage routers we have r1 we'll see how to do some filtering here so before that we'll try running this playbook and get the output from netbox so to run the playbook we have opened a terminal here inside the tower playbooks folder and here i have another folder called netbox and inside that i have the actual playbook to get the inventory so let me just try running that for getting the inventory details and simple inventory and i can give list i and inside netbox folder this folder name can be anything i give 0 to underscore inventory and i am getting the output here because i have given device roles and manufacturers so device roles underscore production routers and r2 is part of production router and device roles underscore stage routers here I am getting R1 and under manufacturers I have both routers we can verify that here as well under manufacturers under Cisco I have both devices so under iOS V you can see I have both devices Now we will see how we can use this in a playbook. 
here I have one playbook called 01 underscore iOS facts this tries to get the facts of iOS devices and before that let us just verify the inventory so for that I will open my etc host file etc ansible and host this is my local inventory file which is available in this ubuntu machine here uh, these all these details i have explained in the ansible learning series i will add that video also in the description and notification here we have a parent group called routers and under routers we have routers ssh key and ssh pass and under ssh key and pass we have 61 and 62 both routers are available so in the playbook if i give host as routers this will communicate with both devices 61 and 62 so first let us try running that playbook so this utilizes the local inventory data and then we will see how we can use the netbox inventory and civil playbook 01 ios facts so here this communicates with both devices r1 and r2 and even credentials also i have hard coded here so it utilizes everything from the same inventory file and here we have given the ansible connection and ansible network os everything i have added here so there is no issue it is able to get the details now if you want to run this from a netbox inventory then ansible won't use this inventory file this will try to get all the details from the netbox so when we get the details from netbox we won't be getting these details i haven't added these details in netbox so to get that what we need to do i have one more playlist here sorry i have one more playbook here 01 underscore netbox ios facts let me close and open this in the right split so here the difference is i have added connection cli then ansible network os details because my host file contains these details so i have added it in the playbook now i don't need to go to this host file and get the variables other than that everything is same now we will see how we can run this from the netbox inventory so ansible playbook the new playbook is netbox ios facts and then hyphen i from netbox folder i will give 02 underscore inventory and if you see here the host what i have given is manufacturers cisco instead of that first what we will try is let us go to one of the api response yes from here we'll take device roles will give stage routers stage routers contains only r1 so it should execute only on r1 now i'll save that now let me try running it 
I'll enable verbose as well. We'll get one error now. Yeah. But it is able to identify the device. This has detected, okay, this needs to be executed on R1 because we are receiving response from netbox now. You can see the details. So it is communicating with API using the API token and getting the response. But here you can see authentication failed with device because since it is not using the local inventory, we are not passing authentication data anywhere. So now we will try running it. If a new admin and it will prompt for password, I'll give the password here. So now this is able to communicate with the device. Now, if you want to get for R2, so what we need is we need to change the device role to prod routers under device roles. So here it is prod routers. I'll save this. Now this should run on 62. Okay, now this is running on 62. Now if I give this as manufacturer's Cisco. It should execute on both devices. Let us try that. I'll save this. Now this is executed on both devices. Now similar way we have two more playbooks. And one is inventory netbox prod and one is netbox stage. And if you use these playbooks for inventory, we will be able to run it using same playbook. So for that, we will try getting first output. So for that, what we can do is and here you can see it is host and the device type is iOS V. We will try giving that. I will give this iOS V and inventory source I'll give us netbox prod.yaml so this is communicating with R2 and here in this filter 
we can see this is not required uh, and it is filtering using the site data and we are doing a query filter here group by sites and device types and then we are doing a query filter and similar way if we need it for staging devices I just need to change only the playbook name the inventory playbook name and now this will get data from R1 in this way you can do filtering using multiple attributes in the next video we will see how to run this from Ansible tower for executing the playbook how we can manually pull the data from netbox and then execute the playbook according to the inventory inventory details I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how we can do filtering in netbox thanks for watching see you in the next video